let's face it guys, a lot of the, re the reviews that you watch, it's all men. So unfortunately, the fragrance community is dominated by male reviewers. There's not a lot of females out there. So what you will see in this video is I decided to dedicate this one to the ladies out there. Give them the shine, the spotlight, and pay homage and respect to them. So you'll see the female reviewers, but you're also going to see some of the better halves of the male reviewers out there. In this video, that they will tell you what they are currently loving when it comes to their fragrances, but some of them will also say what some of their favorites that they like on their male counterparts as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to hand it over to the boss lady because unfortunately, my time has ended. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hi everyone, uh, so it's Neela, and as you know, I'm also referred to as Chad's Ball and Chain, uh, which I wear a crown proudly for. So um, the purpose of this video is to share with you the fragrances that I like on Chad and then the ones I like on myself. So my favorite on him, and I, I, it was hard to decide, there are many and I could choose, but I think this is probably one of my favorite go-tos. It is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, and then the other one is Tom Ford, Tobacco the Knee. So those two are two different kinds of scents, but they're my favorite of the two on him. And uh, for myself, uh, this is a new one that actually Chad bought me. And um, it's really meant for spring and summer, but I love it, so I wear it in the winter anyway. And it is Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo. And then uh, the other one that I love, and I bought the bottle of it, or, or Chad bought this one for me too. Uh, this is... Uh, Burberry Brit. Okay, and those are the pictures. Hi, Chad and Neela. Thanks for asking me to do this. This is a fun, fun video to do. My favourite fragrances of the moment. And I've picked two so that I don't babble on too much. Um, Chanel Number no. 5 Eau Premier in this bottle. I particularly love the bottle. Um, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's a lot lighter and more powdery and a little bit more citrusy than the original Chanel number no. 5 and I find it's really nice on date night um, on the cooler cooler date nights I really like it it's very romantic and Prada Infusion de Iris is my second favorite my other favorite it it just brings me back it brings back memories of um, when I first sprayed it in the shops and I would feel very luxurious for the whole day and I kept going back to Maya and um, spraying it and I just needed it so hubby got it for me and I am just really impressed by it it's it's not for everybody but it's it's a lovely powdery iris and very oh, I don't know very sophisticated and luxurious and um, of course these both aren't for everybody uh, your body chemistry and your uh, preferences differ but these are definitely my top two fragrances of the moment thanks guys I'll see you next time hi guys chocolate money here and today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite fragrances of the moment and we'll go ahead and start with Tom Ford's black orchid this is a great fragrance with niche quality without the heavy price tag uh, it's like a chocolate patchouli kind of everything in the kitchen type of fragrance it has a ton of notes uh, but it's well worth it and it's well blended and it will last you all day this is a great uh, date night or uh, just kind of late night event or anything anything you need to make you feel sexy um, I think this is perfect the second one I've been loving is the Tom Ford Cafe Rose and I love this fragrance it's just it's, it's a very sexy clean rose and it, it kind of comes off a little mysterious as well so this is a great daytime sexy scent the third one I've been loving is 4162 Days the sexiest scent on the planet ever in my opinion yes that is the entire title of this fragrance i really love this fragrance because it's like a cedary vanilla musk and yes it's very sexy and you're going to get tons of compliments when you wear it the next one that i have is west third brands uh tonic body spray the tobacco 1812 the reason why i chose this one is because it's it's very lightweight it's a lightweight tobacco with a little bit of a mint or aftershave essence to it and it's not one that you can over spray so this is a great one for the gym and one that you can wear just casually all day and the final one i have is mahabity by swiss arabian uh, this is a middle eastern line i really love this scent because it's just 
it's just so sweet and musky and you get that middle eastern vibe but it's not a heavy 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 vibe if you're not really into that so definitely check this one out well guys those are my picks i hope you guys check those out and let me know what you think about those again my name is chocolate bunny hi fragrance community i'm julie from julie's beauty dish and i'm so excited to be part of this collaboration so the fragrances I'm loving right now, I have three, two are designer, one is niche, and I'm going to start with Gucci Rush. This is a free Shepra, and the top notes that really get me are a delicious juicy peach and almond and vanilla. There's a really, really nice vetiver note in the base that kind of smooths everything out and keeps it from being overly sweet or overly gourmand. And it's not a heavy scent. This is an EDT, and I think you can wear it anywhere. My second fragrance that I'm loving right now is Christian Dior's Dolce Vita, and here's my full bottle of it. Um, this is my sunshine in a bottle. That's why I love wearing this for winter, even though it kind of feels like it could also be a spring or summer scent. It's got yellow flowers, white flowers, stone fruits, citrus, um, a really beautiful soft woodsy base. There's cinnamon and cardamom spices, but it's all blended up really smoothly, and it's just this, this beautiful, happy, sunshine scent. Um, I just love it. It's got great projection and it really does make a statement without ever being too, too much. My final scent that I cannot stop wearing is uh, Ballet Rouge by Olympic Orchids. This is a rose Shepra and it's a kind of a tribute to vintage style Shepras, but it does not feel old or dusty or musty. It's gorgeous. Um, I love it. It's, it has kind of a grand formal sense to it, but it never feels like it's wearing me. So I'm comfortable wearing it at home during the day. It doesn't seem like too much. It's, it's just a beautiful scent. And if you love rose scents, um, it's definitely one to check out. So those are the scents I'm loving right now. Thanks so much to Chad for putting this together. And thanks to all of the great female fragrance reviewers on YouTube. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hey everyone! Hello! Welcome, this is Cody and... Becky! I'm here to give you the opinion of, well, Becky's opinion... My opinion. ...on her favorite scent that she actually likes on me. Yep. I think this is for, um... A friend? A friend? Chad. Chad? Yeah. Hey, Chad! White Spirit Bear or the Everyday Man is what he's known as now. Everyday Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is for you, buddy. So, do I get to tell them what? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So, my favorite scent on Cody is pure malt. There you go. What do I do with it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can okay. hold it. Ooh, power. So, this one um, smells like whiskey and chocolate. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I really like it. And it smells great on his skin. Should I spray it on you? Yeah, go ahead. Should I press this down? Yeah. Pressing. Nothing's happening. Really? Oh, you got to find the sweet spot. There, there you go. Okay. You got to swipe the Sorry. sweet spot. All right. All right. Let me smell. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's the stuff. It's got like the sweetness of the whiskey mm -hmm. and then the little chocolate, chocolate kind of like, yeah, like yeah. that dark chocolate spice. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's a nice scent, so, but it's definitely more of a winter scent. Mm, okay. Yeah. Nice. So anyway, enough. but it is winter, so for now, that is my favorite scent on Cody. All right. There you have it. Excellent. Pure malt. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. On to the next. See ya. Hello, people. Thank you so much for watching us, ladies of the FragCom fragrance community, doing our thing. So I'm going to really quickly move on to the fragrances that I reach for all the time. Like, time after time after time, I go back to these. First of all, you got... Dark Amber and Ginger Lily by Joe Malone. Absolutely bloody lootly love it. It's stunning. I got it for Christmas. Just cannot get enough of it. Beautiful, beautiful uh, sweetness to it. Incense, you've got rose, you've got the ginger. It is so amazing. Last really well. I know Joe Malone doesn't have the best reputation for fragrances at last, but this one. I definitely get a good six to eight hours from it and I'm happy with that, beautiful. So that's that one. Then we've got, I'll hold it over here where there's some space, look. Um, you've got Van Cleef and Arpel's Orchidee Vanille and it is 
really, really gorgeous vanilla. This is my holy grail vanilla. I totally adore it. I know it could be a bit boring, just vanilla, but it's not just vanilla. There are other notes in there. I believe that there's, um, I think there's orange in there and um, other stuff. Um, but basically it's this really, really soft, cozy, smooth vanilla. And um, it's like, putting on a warm cozy blanket when you wear it. I absolutely love wearing it. I wear it for me. Um, and then what I often do is I wear it and then maybe after four or five hours, I might add something else on top just to mix it up a little bit because I mean, what wouldn't blend with a really lovely vanilla really? So a great one for layering. And then um, last and certainly not least, is Montau's Intense Cafe. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous coffee. And a lot of people say, oh, you don't get much coffee. I definitely get good coffee, like sweet, milky coffee and vanilla and some chocolate. And you just get these different nuances to it throughout the wearing. Sometimes you might pick out the rose um, and then it kind of fleets away. But, um, I love it. So they're the three, three, sorry, I say probably three, three fragrances. I can't stop wearing. I wear them all the time. Thank you so much for including me in the video and um, on to the next lady. Ooh, it's cold, it's winter, it's January. <laughs> well, okay, I'm indoors, not that cold, but I dressed up for you guys. Hi, Fragcom. Hi, Chad. Thank you for inviting me to do this collaboration again. You rock. <laughs> Seriously. So, quickly, what will I be wearing this January? Well, to be honest, I've really been into the, the gourmands and the vanillas. First of all, we have this beauty. This is Un Bois Vanille by Slur Serge Lutens. Oh, I love this. Mm, it, it really does remind me of cookies, baking cookies. That's just heaven, seriously. Check that one out if you haven't already. Second of all is a little, is this one. It's a little bit harder to find. It's called My Inner Island. That is the perfume house. And the perfume is called Viniglia Suprafina Arum. Yeah, in, that's Italian, I think. And this one basically smells like a vanilla milkshake. Oh, seriously, yum. <laughs> Finally, we have my favorite. It's Vani by... Mona de Oreo. Oh my gosh. This is my, this is, this is my signature. Seriously. I finally found it. I'm happy. Check the notes on this guys. Ugh, crazy, well blended, perfect vanilla, woodsy, rummy, little orange peely, and definitely there's some clove in there and it's gorgeous. So that's all I have for today, guys. On to the next reviewer. Hi guys, Jen here, the future of Mrs. Renalescence, and um, I am showing you my two favorite scents, one on me and one on Steven. So the scent that I like to smell on Steven the most is Nautica Voyage. Um, I like this scent a lot because it's not bad. <laughs> a lot of things that he wears I can't stand, and this one's actually really nice. It's so nice that my father likes it, and we actually bought him a bottle for Christmas as well. The scent that I like to wear the most often is Michael Kors. This one comes in a few different um, varieties. We have the the white, the rose gold, but this one, the original Michael Kors, is my favorite. I wear it on a daily basis, to work, going out. I have the roller ball. It, it's just a really nice smell and it works well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks. Hi guys. Someone chat asked me to be part of this collaboration. I said, absolutely, and thank you. It's so great of Chad to involve everybody in a community and get us all together. So Chad, you are a super guy. So this collaboration is supposed to feature ladies of the community. And I'm a lady most of the time. So thank you for having me. A uh, scent that I sampled, fell madly in love with, and had to have a full bottle of, is Tom Ford Noir de Noir. It is such a romantic rose scent, and it definitely is unisex.
I will be wearing this from now until Valentine's Day. And it just gets better and better each time that I wear it. So I reviewed it. Come by my channel and check it out if you haven't already. I look forward to connecting with you. And thanks again, Chad. Hey, everybody. It's me again, Moody Boo. And I am back with another collab video. Um, thanks to Chad. Um. So I'm just giving a couple of perfumes that I'm very excited about wearing this season. And the first one that I've had for a while is Dolcissimo by Hilde Soliani. This is one of my all-time favorites of hers. I have many. Um, I own almost 20 bottles from Hilde. She is my perfume goddess, as I call her. Um, anyway, it's fabulous perfume. She keeps her perfumes very simple. So it's tobacco, vanilla, cherry, and patchouli. And it just smells like a sweet cherry tobacco. Um, and it's beautiful, but it's not too sweet. It's... it's um, just sweet enough, just like somebody was smoking a cherry pipe tobacco, that fabulous aroma. So that's one. And this is Apple Brandy by Killian. And I think it's fabulous. And Apple Brandy is oak, cedar, vanilla, and labdanum. And labdanum is just rock rose, which adds a leather and amber kind of accord to the uh, uh, aroma. And there's no apple notes in there, but you do get this sweet, boozy, oaky kind of a smell like a aged a sweet aged rum or something um, and but it's not so boozy that it makes you smell like a drunk when you wear it so thank you for including me I hope you come check out my channel Moody Boo Reviews and A Vapus Wit on YouTube um, and have a great day Hi. peace it's East West Haven and I am thrilled to be a part of this collaboration I have been loving these three fragrances, aside from the testing that I do for fun. I have for you Armani Privé's Rose Derby, a most beautiful, gorgeous, classical, elegant, chic, and it has got immense universal appeal. I adore it. This is what I reach for at any time of day. Or night. Next, I have for you Ambre Nuit. Wow, this fragrance. Every time I wear it, I think to myself how fortunate I am to encounter such olfactive excellence. This is just gorgeous. And another one of those fragrances that I will apply at any time. I find that these two fragrances, you can make it uh, what you want it to be. It is very adapted to different lifestyles. Now I have for you Oud Ispahan. I use these smaller dabber bottles to refresh. And truth be told, Oud Ispahan is not a fragrance that requires any refreshing really but i love it so much that i refresh nonetheless and i refresh discreetly thanks to these dabber bottles udis pahan is another one of those masterpieces a bit polarizing i understand but i feel fortunate that i'm one of those that really and truly appreciate it and enjoy it to its fullest and there you have it three fragrances that i have been loving What's up, you so heads? Much. All about the ladies today. Whoop, what whoop. kind of fun is that? Not much, I don't oh, think. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it is all fun and games. Woo! Here to find out what are some of <laughs> Amanda's favorite perfumes. Right yeah. Now. Right what now, you got for us? Well, right now, I've been kind of favoring three of them. So, especially for this colder weather that we've been having. But I'm pretty sure I'll wear this all year round anyway. So my first one is from Elizabeth and James Nirvana, and I like the black. So this is just a tester one. So love it just because it's got more of that. I musk. actually think highly of that one too. That's so, good stuff. It's a musk. Elizabeth James Nirvana black. Good old Mary Kate and Ashley know how to do it up. <laughs> so um, so going from there, um, I'm just trying to think. I can't remember. I want to say it's Lancome. Maybe not. I don't know. You probably know. 
I just got this Ooh. from my sister, so she's super sweet. She gave me the Modern Muse Chic. So Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. See? Good. Good job. Man. You're so good. <laughs> I get free stuff from my, my elementary little... school education is paying off. I know how to read. Oh yeah, Ooh. right there, and I had it covered. <laughs> I can snap him. Well, I don't know. My hand was so good; it's right covered up there. I don't think I like that stuff. Sp spray it on ya. Why? Why don't you like this stuff? I don't know, cause I want to smell it. It might be one of your floral ones. I'm not a big floral guy. And it's not oh. that bad. Let me smell. Yeah, it's floral. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's one of the floral factories. Oh, I love it. Some men might like florals. Not my cup of tea. I love it. And I just happen to have a wife that likes florals. Douche. <laughs> all over. Anyway, and then lastly, because then we're going up there. So, um, tobacco veneer from Tom Ford. Yay! That's what I can handle. Well, I would hope so. Yeah. So that's another all-time favorite of mine. Of course, everybody sees it in threads, and they're like, yep, man loves it. So, Tobacco, vanilla, one of the best out there. Yeah. So. For sure, delicious stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Thanks, Thanks for having us on, Chad. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Good to see you all. Mm -hmm. But, you guys take care. And we will see you later. Bye.